Good day, aspiring pilots. Today, we'll be learning about the aircraft instrument, which is the ASI, or the airspeed indicator. And for the introduction of the airspeed indicator, it would be my group mate, Mr. Justin Alayon. ASI, or airspeed indicator. It is a device for measuring the forward speed of the aircraft. The airspeed indicator uses the aircraft's pitot static system to compare pitot and static pressure and thus determine the forward speed of an aircraft. Airspeed is usually measured and indicated in nautical miles per hour or knots, although other units of measurements are sometimes encountered. In our aviation industry, we use two types of airspeed indicator, one for older aircraft and two for the modern aircraft. For the older aircraft, airspeed is usually indicated to the pilot on a graduated scale over which a pointer moves. For the modern aircraft, it is usually indicated on a speed tape which forms part of the electronic flight instrument system display. The only difference for the older aircraft and for the modern aircraft airspeed indicator is that for the older aircraft, it only shows your approximate speed in the air, while in the modern aircraft, it shows your actual speed or your exact speed during your flight. After Mr. Alayan, we now have Mr. Silva who will discuss how the airspeed indicator works and what would happen to the airspeed indicator if changes of temperature would occur. As you fly the air faster and faster, as shown by the animation, the air striking the pitot tube enters more rapidly, and this expands in diaphragm further and further. The diaphragm is connected to the sector 4 levers which rotate it, and in turn this rotates the hand F pinion that is directly connected to the speed dial and displays the current speed. So if everything is working properly, the air speed indicator will always be most likely read accurately but what happens if it is connection to the outside will become occluded the air speed indicator is affected only by changes in temperature and not in pressure we will see why pressure doesn't affect as you probably know colder air is much denser and as you can see from the animation as you fly into colder air the denser exerts a bigger force on the diaphragm, and therefore it, it expands more. This obviously affects the reading on the dial. The colder air is the higher the indicated airspeed, while your real speed is actually lower. Vice versa, the warmer the air is the lower the indicated airspeed, while your true airspeed is actually higher. And now, we will have Mr. Mabutol who will discuss the common problems that the ASI encounters and what would happen when these problems occur. Encountered problem and airspeed indicator. We know that airspeed indicator uses pitot static system to operate. That means if the pitot static system has an error, the airspeed, is, the airspeed indicator is affected. The most encountered problem is the blockage in the pitot tube. It causes of its environment that changes temperature, insects, and debris. The blockage in the pitot tube can lead to zero reading at all, or no reading. Dahil, dahil sa pitot tube, dito dumadali una mismo yung air pressure. Kapag, kapag na-block yung pitot tube, yung air pressure din na umaabot sa gasket or diaphragm kaya nagkakaroon ng walang walang reading sa air, air speed indicator aircraft nowadays has a heater switch for the pitot static system to reduce the contamination by moisture and prevent errors 
just like the blockage in the pitot tube and the blockage in the static part. And they also add up another pitot-static system to provide redundancy in case of failure. Another encountered problem is the blockage in the static part. The cause of it because of freezing, just like the cause in the blockage of the pitot tube. But it has an opposite error of the pitot tube. Dahil kapag na-block ang pitot tube, wala siyang reading. Zero reading at all. Pero kapag na static port naman, kapag na-block ang static port, meron pa rin siyang reading. Kaso nga lang, inaccurate. When the blockage is occurred, the airspeed indicator read higher or lower than usual flight. Dahil, dahil ang air pressure nag-stay lang sa diaphragm, natatrap siya, di siya nakakalabas kasi naka-block yung static port. I, Mustad Hassan, would be discussing on how to read the ASI and the specific color-coded speed and ranges. The ASI has standard color-coded markings to indicate safe operation within the limits of the aircraft. For instance, the green arc indicates the normal operating range of the aircraft. The white arc indicates the flap operating range used for approaches and landing of the aircraft. The yellow arc cautions that flight should be conducted in this range only in the smooth air, meaning there should be no turbulence. While the red line at the top of the yellow arc indicates damage or structural failure may result at higher speeds. The ASI is basically a dial with a pointer which tells the pilot how fast the aircraft is going, which is measured in miles per hour or knots. Knots are a measure of speed. As you can see in the picture, the pointer is pointed at 110 knots, which means the speed of the aircraft is 110 knots. Here is another example. In the picture, the pointer is directed at 190 knots. This means that the aircraft must be in smooth operating air condition. There is a term called IAS or indicated airspeed when it is read of the ASI. And now, we will be moving on to the construction of the ASI. Traditionally, airspeed indicators were mechanical analog instruments. And now, we will discuss how these mechanical instruments are constructed. The body of a mechanical airspeed indicator consists of a completely sealed case into which the static pressure line is ported. The inside of the case is therefore man maintained at the ambient atmospheric pressure. A capsule or diaphragm inside the instrument housing is connected to the pitot pressure line. Since the pitot pressure probe measures the total pressure, the dynamic and static pressure, and the instrument housing is kept at static pressure. The pressure differential between the capsule and the case represents the dynamic pressure. A capsule will then expand and contract with the change, changing dynamic pressure. A mechanical linkage from the capsule to the instrument face displays this changing dynamic pressure as an airspeed on the dial. The airspeed indicator must be calibrated in order to fix the relationship between the dynamic pressure and the resulting velocity. This calibration is performed at sea level conditions representing a standard day. 